Howdy y'all, it's Ryan, and it's Saturday. Welcome to Saturday Vlogs with the Lolly family of r &E Music. Check out our Saturday. Breakfast biscuits. Pet biscuits. They're all biscuits. Good Lord. Got a bit of a late start this morning. I don't know, I guess because I stayed up late editing video. Uh, this should be up right now of our clinic with Acacia Guitars and Robert Baker. So excited. So maybe I stayed up later than I thought because I slept in this morning and I wasn't even trying. I just, I don't know, tired. But I'm awake now and it is time to go to r and Music and open up the store. We got some lessons today. Our drum teacher, Brianna, has some drum students to teach and I have to teach some makeup, piano lessons and guitar lessons. And so it should be an awesome day today at r and Music. So excited. No, that's good. I like that. I was gonna capture Paul listening to ska music. Because I started dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I caught myself. And and then I was like, wait a minute. He, he turned it off as soon as I picked up the camera. Be angry now. I'm not allowed to have fun. I hate the world. <laughs> no, no happy music allowed. I'm um, just here. Only bitter music. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because even my music is like happy song with bad, not bad words. Uh, <laughs> angry words. <laughs> There's a few bad ones in there. I don't think I put any bad words in there. Well, you're missing out because that sells. Wait, never mind. Family friendly sells. That's what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my I gotta keep it clean so I can sell it at Walmart. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I gotta teach a piano lesson now. Mm-hmm. Okay. To Elijah Miss Prime. Yep. He's gonna be in here in just a second. Is his name Prime? No. He dressed up as Optimus Prime last week for Halloween. I dressed up as Tony Stark. What did you dress up as? Nothing. That's scary. She has no sense of adventure. <laughs> She doesn't crave adventure like the rest of us do. I just like dressing up the one day a year nobody make fun of me for it. Right? <laughs> the other days I dress up everybody though. points and go out, what's wrong with wearing a cape on a daily basis? Right? <laughs> Batman does it. See, then you should start, <laughs> you should start celebrating Purim because Purim, you can't, you dress up, but Purim. Purim? Purim. Purim. Purim, yeah. I've heard of it. It's a Jewish holiday. Oh. You can dress up as superheroes? You can dress up as whatever. Sounds fun. Mm -hmm. The British do something too. It is uh, like they're kind of holiday, but not wrong. about death. No, oh. so <laughs> <laughs> nice. You got me this crap. I just don't think I'm very full of it. <laughs> ah, you're all right. I wouldn't worry about it. I think everybody thinks that, probably. So I'm here, it's close to the end of the day here. We've taught lessons. Paul, the bitter bass player, is here. Art is here. Art's one of our good friends and customers from the Metroplex. On camera. First time ever. First time ever. He's been here, his first time on camera. But he brought a cool guitar. Where You bought this from? I got this from uh, a guy named Josh Blades in Arkansas. It was uh, his first commissioned guitar. My wife ordered it for me. Custom built. Yep. Acoustic. Let's check it out because there's some cool features on this you need to see. Blades in abalone, which I love. And check out these inlays. Texas. Texas abalone inlays. This, that's what should have gone on our CMG Customs probably. <laughs> Greatest country in the world. Greatest country in the world, Texas. That's beautiful. So I guess it's got a spruce top on it. Spruce top, uh, Coco Bolo back, I think. Solid spruce top picture. Yeah. Oh yeah, Coco Bolo. Book matched. That's beautiful. I don't know if you can see. And there's a little Texas. Is that an ebony? I. It might be. There's a little Texas right there. This this guitar is five years old, so I've forgotten some of the details, but. So it's pretty nice. I played it earlier. I was laughing because Paul's not a big Texas fan, being from Ohio. <laughs> I was only mildly offended. He didn't want to play it because it had Texas logo. <laughs> cool, man. 
Well, thanks for bringing that. I really enjoyed playing it. You're That's pretty neat. So does, is he still building guitars? He still builds them. Builds them out of his house. Very nice guy. What was his name one more time? Josh Blades. Josh Blades. Very cool. I'll have to check him out. Does he have a website or a Facebook or anything? Uh, I believe so, but I don't know what they are off the top of my head. We'll check him out. Maybe I can find him. Pretty sweet, man. Thanks for bringing it. You're welcome. And you'll be here next week for the guitar BQ. I absolutely will. Yes. So excited. I want to light those guys up while they're here in Texas instead of finishing my guitar. They should be building your Acacia right now. They should be. Man, Greg's going to be in trouble. <laughs> I'm, I'm patient. I, I knew it wasn't going to be ready, so I'm, I'm, I'm patient. We can still give them a hard time, though. Yes. Just got back to the shop after dropping off Nichols at work. I've got to pack up my computer and my cameras and all my stuff. And then I'm going to head to the house. But check it out. Pixie Licks is on. Pixie live stream. Hi, Pixie. Hi, Pixie. So I'm going to watch Pixie while I'm packing up. I brought uh, my beloved Gibson Explorer from the house today because I wanted to play on a, uh, just want to play on it. And I got a sweet bag from Hamer Guitars that's Explorer size, so I can actually gig bag it, which makes it easier to carry all my stuff. Yeah, so I got to pack up my Gibson to take it home. I might shoot a video real quick before I head home about YouTube demonetization. It's the big thing. The ad apocalypse. It finally hit us. It finally hit Art and Music. They flagged a few of my videos and they took away the, the ad rev option. So I might make a quick video about that tonight. Actually, I may do it at home. I think I'm going to do it at home. Exciting. Well, it's 10 p.m. I am here at Yesterland Farms. I just drove out to pick up Nicholas from work. He worked a uh, 6 to 10 p.m. shift today. I'm here to pick him up, and I'm sure he'll be out any minute now. Uh, people ask, doesn't Nicholas drive himself to work? No, not yet, because we're still in the process of getting his license. He's doing his driver's ed right now. He's doing the driving portion. He has his permit, so he can drive with an adult in the car. An adult, well, someone over 25, which is me. I'm over 25. But uh, pretty soon, hopefully, he'll be completing that part and he'll get his license and be ready to drive on his own oh man I'm sure every parent gets a little nervous at that point when their kid is out there on the road on their own mm. that's what big trucks are good for big trucks are very safe <laughs> all right so I'm waiting for Nicholas and uh, then we're gonna head home and probably call the night actually I think I have to swing by Arnie music and pick up some music I left there I have to play tomorrow morning. I think I left all my charts at the shop. So we're going to swing by Arnie Music before we head home. Hope you guys had an awesome Saturday. Ours has been pretty full.